What up, YouTube? Today's video, I want to talk about how chemtrails can make you sick. Now, first things first, yes, I know I'm going to do the spirit animal video about the falcon. I didn't forget. I just came outside and I so happened to look up and it so happened to be hella chemtrails. So, I just decided to elaborate on chemtrails, you know, because a lot of people don't understand why they get sick for no reason now check this out um chemtrails this stuff been in the works for like hundreds of years you know what i'm saying i think mm, i don't know i want to say that they've been uh probably doing like uh chemtrails since not the beginning of time but I want to say they've been doing chemtrails since they started doing cloning. You see what I'm saying? Because it's like cloning and chemtrails is pretty much the same thing, except when you clone, you use humans or animals. But when you do chemtrails, you basically genetically modify the cloud system or the atmosphere. You see what I'm saying? So it's like they clone in the atmosphere to be a uh, to be an artificial atmosphere, if you get what I'm saying. Just like when they clone humans to be an artificial human or they clone a sheep or animal to be an artificial animal, it's the same difference, okay? Now, you ever had that that moment when you walk outside, but before you walk outside, everything is all good. You don't feel sick or nothing. You feel healthy, blah, blah, blah. Then as soon as you walk outside, your eyes get the um, water in, you know what I'm saying? Your nose get the run in and stuff like this for no reason. That's because the chemtrails and the barium monoxide and all this other stuff that's in the chemtrails is actually breaking down your body. Now, a lot of people don't understand this. Chemtrails, is, um, it's fake clouds, okay? Fake clouds. Like, if you think back like 10, 15 years ago, you could tell the real clouds from these clouds. Now, like, for example, uh, yesterday, the skies were clear like the skies were so clear that it was hot as fuck you see what i'm saying that's how you could tell if it's gonna be a chemtrail day or not like for example today is a chemtrail day because these these little fake clouds out here you know what i'm saying all grayish and you know like uh like a grayish white something like that whatever you know they are fake clouds because chemtrails, like, this is, let me break this down. This is how you know if the clouds in the sky are real. Now, basically, it's like this. When you had them real, 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 real hot days, like yesterday was a real, real hot day, like 90 degrees or some shit like that, 89 degrees. Now, yesterday was a real Earth day. Now, I know a lot of people don't understand this, but... You got to look at it from my perspective and my logic, you know. Everybody can't see it from my logic, but it's not for everybody to see anyway. You know, it's for people with eyes to see and people with ears to hear. But yesterday, it wasn't a cloud in sight. Literally, it was not a cloud in sight. The sky was blue, a very beautiful blue, right? But that was a real Earth Day because... Earth is supposed to be very, very hot. That's what people don't understand. You know, that's what people really don't understand. Earth is literally supposed to be hot no matter what state you really live in. You know, especially if you live in one of those um, states like Arizona, California. Oh, it's going to get super hot. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it's not chemtrails. Like, if it's chemtrails in California, you know what I'm saying, which it is. But let's say, like, for example, like today, right? I don't know if you see that, but. It's like the sky is looking real, real gray. It's like artificial clouds. Like, real clouds are like a very, very, like, uh, damn, what's the word? Like, real clouds are very, very white. Like, like a brand new pillowcase. You know what I'm saying? That's what real clouds look like. And they look all puffy. And they look like, they look like, uh, like smoke be coming off of them. Like, that's how real clouds look. They really look like. Like, just puffs of smoke, you see what I'm saying? But chemtrails, you could tell the difference between real clouds and chemtrails because chemtrails, the clouds for chem, the clouds, the chemtrail clouds, they look all thin and brittle and they look unhealthy, you know what I'm saying? Real clouds look all puffy and white and it got like 
little strains of um, cloud dust or some shit coming off of them. You know, that's how real clouds look. Chemtrail clouds, they be all brittle and they don't look, they don't really look cool. You know what I'm saying? But basically it's like this. When it's no clouds in the sky and the sky is completely blue and the sun is beaming, that's a real earth day because there are no chemtrails out. So it's going to be hot as hell. But when there are chemtrails out and it's probably like 50 degrees, or, you know what I'm saying, or it's kind of colder than what it's supposed to be in the summer, that's because the chemtrails are putting the scab at HARP. HARP is a uh, weather machine. It, uh, it, um, what the fuck? It modifies the weather. People don't know that HARP. Yes, I forgot what it stands for. The uh, abbreviation, but HARP is a, uh, is a weather modifying device, okay? So, it's very, very cold when chemtrails come out and chemtrails basically is like this when it rains and it's real rain have you ever noticed when it's real rain it always thunderstorms no matter what when it's literally pouring down it always lightning and it's always thunderstorming that is real rain those are real clouds okay thunderstorm clouds and it is illegal to collect rainwater because rainwater contains so many nutrients you see so when you plant a seed and you put that real rainwater on that seed that seed is going to blossom quickly because there's so many nutrients coming from the sky that's why it's illegal to collect rainwater ain't that crazy uh, but when it's that chemtrail rain this is how you know it's that chemtrail rain because those little thin brittle clouds come out of nowhere and then it'll rain for like like 10 minutes then it'll stop. Then it'll get back sunny. That's not real rain, okay? That's chemical, artificial rain, okay? So that's how you know the difference between a real day and a chemtrail day because a real day is going to be very hot and there's going to be no clouds around. That's a real earth day because earth's supposed to get hot. But when it's those artificial clouds out, you know what I'm saying, and the sky looking all gray and looking all not pretty cool, that is a chemtrail day and it's going to be kind of cool outside like right like it is now of course it's early but it's cool out here you see what i'm saying like yesterday it was like 9 a.m and it was hot as hell hot as hell because that was a real earth day with no chemtrails around you see what i'm saying they put chemtrails in the sky to keep everything dark and docile to keep it cold okay because heaven is hot and hell is cold you see they put into your mind that you're going to burn in hell. But if you think about it, when you warm and when you're at peace, that's heaven. You see what I'm saying? Because think about it. When you're walking in the snow and it's cold and your fingers get frostbite and stuff like that, hell is cold. Think about it. When somebody is evil, they say that person is cold-hearted. That person has a cold soul. You see what I'm saying? Hell is cold. Heaven is hot. You know what I'm saying? Because let's think about it. If a person have love in their heart what do they say about a person that had love in their heart oh they have a warm soul they have a warm spirit they have a warm heart you see what i'm saying i'm breaking this down like i'm breaking this down look think about it if somebody is evil they are cold-hearted hell is cold if somebody has love in their heart they are warm-hearted they are warm-blooded a snake is cold-blooded because they don't give a fuck that's why it's a snake that's what people don't understand so remember that heaven is hot Hell is cold, man. 